updates to Magic Online treasure chests, the Masters of Modern go over incomplete card cycles, and a Magic model sings her heart out. It's October 4th, I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this is Split Second. Over the last few days, one of the biggest topics of discussion for Magic players has been the newly revealed treasure chests for Magic Online. Many players have made attempts to find out the value of the chests, with others pointing out that these estimations are inaccurate due to a lack of information about the frequency of the contents. This morning, Wizards of the Coast released an article with an update to treasure chests, providing the frequency with which certain items will appear. The first slot will have a 19% chance of having a card from the curated list, a 51% chance of having a modern rare or mythic, and a 30% chance of having some amount of play points. The values for the other slots were also given percentages for how often the standard common or uncommon will be replaced. The article goes on to provide the frequency ratio for both the amount of play points that players can receive, as well as which curated cards will appear. On these charts, for example, a copy of Aether Vial is 25 times more likely to appear in a chest than Ancestral Recall. In a separate article by Magic Online Digital Product Manager Lee Sharp, it was revealed that treasure chests, while originally announced that they would be untradeable, will become tradable in mid-November. This update corresponds with when treasure chests will also be updated to include cards from the Commander 2016 and Conspiracy Take the Crown products. To check out the full announcement, head over to dailymtg.com. Headed over to YouTube today, we start off with The Professor over at Tolarian Community College, with his review of the Kaladesh Bundle. The Professor's reviews are some of his most popular content, taking into account not only the financial value of a product, but also the quality and audience, concluding with a letter grade for the item. In this video, the review focuses on the Kaladesh Bundle, which is an updated version of the previous set's fat packs. To see the full review, head over to youtube.com slash Community. Evan Irwin released a new episode of The Magic Show, going over his thoughts on Smuggler's Copter. The episode starts off with his thoughts on the results of the StarCityGames.com Indianapolis Open, where Smuggler's Copter was a dominant force, putting 145 copies into the top 64 decks. Evan then goes on to explain his thoughts on the future of Looter Scooter in Standard. You can check out the video over at youtube.com slash MrOrangeGuy. Over on the Masters of Modern podcast, hosts Alex Kessler and Ben Bateman go over incomplete card cycles. Kessler and Ben start off their discussion with a reference to a Mark Rosewater post, stating that they are aware of which cycles are incomplete, and that some of them will eventually be completed, but not all of them. Some of the discussion is about completing card cycles where there are already a full five of the ten color combinations, while others are about completing cycles where only a few cards have shown up thus far. For the full episode, check out youtube.com slash topdecking. Finally, for fans of competition shows, the newest season of singing competition show The Voice will have a familiar face. Magic artist Howard Lyon revealed online that his daughter, Belle Jewel Lyon, will be participating in the program this season. You may recognize Belle as she is the model for many of Howard Lyon's pieces, including Flameblade Angel, Angel of Finality, Clip Wings, and many more. Belle was featured for a brief moment on last night's episode and was chosen by Alicia Keys to be on her team. Check out The Voice, which airs Mondays and Tuesdays at 8 p.m. on NBC. That's our show for today, October 4th. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with all the latest magic news and strategy. I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this has been Split Second.